Hello everyone, this is Aki Fujimoto and once again, we met today. First things first, thank you all for your continuous support to my channel. The previous part of this video has gained lots of likes and comments are being given. And without my viewer's suggestion, this part 3 won't be a thing so this video is possible because of you guys. Thank you so much and I love you all. Now with today's video agenda, we are here to talk about Vocaloid songs that has a happy sounding beat to it but the lyrics gives you a sad build to suffer to. I know I did upon listening to these songs but I know you'll suffer with me with this top 5 video. <laughs> and also, this is my so far running series on this channel since it already took 3 parts so right after watching this video, you can comment any suggestion for part 4 if there will be one, and I'll make sure to acknowledge you on every entry of this list, such as what I'm about to do as this top 5 goes on. So today, I brought to you all the top 5 vocaloid songs that are happy and upbeat but whose lyrics tells a dark or depressing tale, part 3. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 5. Angel by Karakiri Bear or Kiyaki Bear, suggested by Arozka. Thank you, Arozka. First things first, the melody of this song rocks like heck. Yeah, but we're not here to compliment the song, but rather, point out the fishy thing about it. There are many speculation that the song is a critic against educational system, but many more theories suggest a whole different meaning. But considering the lyrics and the exam in the illustration of the video, the school theory is mm, the prime candidate. This gets darker considering the fact that many students, especially from secondary education like junior high or senior high, commit suicide after failing their exams, especially on some part of the Asia like China, India, Indonesia, Korea, Philippines, which is where I am from, and Japan. An important matter to be sensitive and be aware of is suicide in many forms and motives. During the COVID-19 pandemic, three years ago, I had my fair share of suicidal thoughts but God has different plans for me. So to those who are suffering with failing academics, family problems or even existential crisis, please take away suicide off your list. Instead, find a purpose, discover more things about you and most importantly, express yourself with freedom but also learn that in freedom, responsibility is a mess so if you are suffering through depression at a very young age, please use the gift of the World Wide Web to search for Commit Suicide Hotline to be counseled by professionals. That's all. Number 4, Senbon Zakura by Koro Sopi. Senbon Zakura is counted as the stereotypically known Vocaloid songs and we fans are proud about it since Senbon Zakura is by far one of the iconic Vocaloid songs ever produced with its unique traditional based art styles and containing its national icon symbols such as cherry blossoms and post-war clothing. Wait, post-war clothing? Yup, you heard that right. As a matter of fact, if you are not lazy enough to read the English subtitles of every music video of Senbon Zakura, you know it's all about the westernization of Japan, dating back to the dark ages of Japan, at least some of its province, and many fans and non-fans theorize that Senbon Zakura is promoting or against Japanese nationalism and militarism, which is a pretty crucial yet deep matter to talk about but, in other words, the song is dark if analyzed deeply but, disregard that, the tone of the music is quite catchy. Woohoo! Number 3, Housewipe Radio by Ghost, suggested by HMMM6892. Different 
Housewife Radio is a song featuring Gumi English. The producer came up with the idea of the song during a sewing class. In the song, Nancy is a woman due to her chromesthesia, has convinced herself that her dead husband, Henry, is alive because the radio plays with the same color as his voice once did. Eventually realizing that she now saw all the voice in black and white, she confronts the reality of her husband's death. Unable to live with this, she commits suicide on her basement. God damn, that's messed up. Yet again, pretty sad to say the least. We all face grief throughout our lives, but ending your life won't fix it. Help yourself by taking a therapy or going to your happy place once in a while. Number 2. Don't Look at Me in That Way by Kiko. <laughs> If Masa Works Design is the Mac Daddy of sexual innuendo songs in the Vocaloid community, Kiko on the other hand is like the Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with Edgar Allan Poe's Dark Plot. The tone in the visual of this song is something like you will see on a nursery rhyme book, which is cute but upon knowing the meaning of the song, makes you look at it in a whole different manner. Don't Look At Me In That Way is a song that depicts the story of a child who one day was riding his bike on the downhill in an alley, when all of a sudden, he was hit by a car and died instantly. As he observed his parents on grief, he kept trying to tell them that he is happy at the last moment of his life, which is pretty sad to say the least. Number 1 ah! by Nishimoto Wow, what a title. <laughs> anyway, there aren't many lyrics but it's basically about a girl who views her life as unfair and stupid and wants to end it. Existential crisis is quite common to say the least because as a human being, you will always limit your thoughts only to yourself and cannot speak a word about your inner problems. That's what the song is trying to imply so if you ever think that life is quite unfair, you can always find a way to make it fair. There's an old saying here in the Philippines that it's not your fault that you are born poor, but it's your fault if you die and remain poor. Life won't just throw you the happy things all the time because your thoughts create your own reality, including your actions. My friends, and believing that all will be alright and keeping a smile on that beautiful face of yours won't cause you bad, but keep in mind that whoever you are, even who or where you are, and we may be strangers, but I love you, okay? That's coming from me, from the heart, okay? <laughs> and that's all for this video. I promise you guys that after one month, I'll be uploading a new video, but it came out late due to my academics. I enjoyed making these videos and reading all the comments you all leave on the comment section. Either way, I might make a part 4 but that depends if you guys could recommend me some songs that fits this series. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video and before I say goodbye, please watch the first part of the upcoming short series titled Did You Know? Alright so, goodbye and God bless. I love you all. It's less straightforward than the previous entries on this list. However, once you understand the details of the accompanying music video, 